Hi, good evening to all. So today's topic is all about explaining the accounting concept and the conventions. So before that, in a week or two, look at the meaning of accounting first. It involves the systematic recording, summarizing, analyzing, and reporting of financial transactions of a business entity. It encompasses now the process of gathering, organizing, and communicating financial information. to stakeholders such as investors creditors regulators and management to add in decision making <coughs> accounting means now we need to record the financial and transactions now sequentially sequencing or the systematically and then we need to summarize those na data and analyze the data and the report to the end users so the it the in <coughs> it includes the process of gathering organizing and communication financial information to the end users such as investors creditors regulators and the management the these information will help to na make na the decision making <coughs> next an accounting concept and accounting conventions are as follows The first concept is the going concern concept. This concept assumes that a business will continue to operate for the foreseeable future. It influences the valuation of assets and liabilities, assuming that assets will be used in business rather than liquidated. Going concern concept now talks about the business will continue now. It will never now end. In that manner, then the accountant will na record the financial transactions. It the influences the valuation of assets and liabilities. So assuming now <coughs> he assumes that assets will be used in the business rather than liquidated. Second concept in this na talking about the consistency. This principle emphasizes the importance of using the. same accounting methods practices and policies na consistently from one accounting period to another it ensures na comparable comparability of our financial information over time consistency na means na we need to know consti- consistently record our the transaction in the same accounting methods and practices uh, need not to know change the lot of the policies and methods now will recording our the transactions it ensures the comparability of a financial information comparability comparability means the uniformity of the transactions materiality concept this concept states that the only significant or material items need to be recorded and disclosed in financial statements immaterial items can be disregarded na, to avoid unnecessary complexity only material items need to be na record in the financial na and that disclosed in financial na statements immaterial na items need to be na suspended next concept na converse conversation concept na conservatism concept also known as the principle of prudence this concept judges rest that na when faced with uncertainty accountants na should err on the side of na caution recognizing potential losses immediately will only recognizing gains when na realized conservatism is na <coughs> conservatism judges rest that na when the accountant the face the uncertainty situations na need to record the cost and side of the account so they they will recognize the potential losses rather than the gains next concept is a talking about the accrual concept this concept recognizes na revenue and expenses na when they are earned or the incurred regardless of when the cash is received or paid it ensures that financial statements reflect the economic reality of transactions in the period of in the period they occur occur 
this concept concerns about the revenues and the expenses rather than the profit and the loss and the cash received or not it ensures the financial statements reflect the economic reality of transactions in the accounting period <coughs> Next convention is the objectivity. Financial statements na should be based on objective evidence na and the verifiable data. This, con- this convention requires accountants to rely on the factual data rather than personal opinions or biases when recording financial na transactions. If, na, if an accountant da <coughs> is going to record na some na transactions na he needs to na check the na data na with the proper evidence and the verify those na evidence na in well manner effectively this convention requires na accountants to rely on factual data rather than personal opinions or biases they to accountant na never records na their transactions na based on their na personal opinions or biases need the proper evidence of the data matching this convention and dictate that expenses should be matched with the revenues they help to generate in the same accounting period <coughs> this principle ensures that the income statement accuracy accurately reflects the profitability of the period as per this conventions the expenses should be matched with the revenues in the same accounting na period if it na <coughs> if it varies na from one to the another na so we need to the check na again this principle ensures that the income statement accurately reflects the profitability of the period then only the we can at the we can be able to the calculate our na organization profitability na accurately full disclosure it requires the companies to disclose all relevant information that could influence the decisions of financial statement users this includes notes supplementary the schedules and the additional information in the footnotes and the to the financial and the statements this the convention is talking about that to disclose the all the financial statements now or financial information to the end users now deliberately this includes notes na accounting notes na supplementary schedules and additional information in the footnotes to the financial and statements it's all evidence of the correctness thank you we will see you again with another session until then stay tuned stay blessed bye